Hello, everyone, and welcome to Top of Mind. I'm Mary Masalio, and this is part two of a three-part series focused on AI outcomes that matter. What we're doing is updating you on the IT Symposium opening keynote that we did late last year in 2024, and updating you on how things have changed since then. So part two is about AI technology outcomes. And the signal thing I want you to believe and focus on is that in this world, in 2025, we are going from a world of AI scarcity to a world of AI excess. And I think we're gonna rapidly be in a world of AI technology debt. This is because AI and data are coming from everywhere. So AI is coming from everywhere. We're used to thinking of AI as coming from only one source, your internal data science and engineering team or your internal AI team producing, they used to produce 100% of AI in the enterprise. Now that number has gone down to 35%. So 35% of AI is being built or blended by your internal AI team. The second source is what we call BYO. AI. This stands for bring your own AI. And it's when a department like HR or finance or legal or a line of business says, hey, I have this specific AI, you know, specific to marketing or specific to legal or that is going to help my business that I really want to bring in. So that's called bring your own AI, BYO AI. And about 22% of AI in most organizations is coming from that channel. The third source of AI, and the biggest, is what we call embedded AI. This is AI that's embedded in software you already run. Gartner predicts that by 2026, that's not that far away, over 80% of enterprise software vendors will have embedded Gen AI capabilities into their enterprise software offering. Just to give you some context, right now, that number hovers around 5%. So that means that even if you did nothing for the whole year, you went on sabbatical, you didn't do anything, by the end of 2025, you would still have an excess of AI. Because in that embedded AI channel, that represents about 43% of the AI in your organization. And it's coming in whether you like it or not. So it's an AI everywhere environment. Similarly, we have data coming from everywhere. We're also used to thinking of data as something that we centrally manage and it's structured and we transform it and we, we move it, we clean it, we transform it, we put it in our data lakes, right? This is how we think of our structured data. And of course, that still is in some estimates, maybe 20% of the data in an enterprise. So what's the other 80%? The other 80% is unstructured data. So the file for this video or the HR policy PDF or some file you have on a shared drive or uh, the recording of a customer service audio file, right? All that or emails that you generate, all that is unstructured data. And the thing about unstructured data is that it used to be really hard to get to the value of it. But one of Gen AI's superpowers is its ability to access and activate all the unstructured data in your enterprise for a not so small fee. So this isn't cheap to do, but it is possible. What that means is that you have a scenario where you have your structured data, centrally managed, centrally owned, but then you have your unstructured data coming from everywhere. The ultimate um, outcome of all this is that we don't really believe you need a a tech stack. We get asked a lot, what's the new AI tech stack? And we don't think you need a tech stack because a tech stack presumes central management, central ownership, one thing built on top of the other. And that's not really what this world is. In an AI everywhere, AI uh, data everywhere world, we have AI on the bottom, centrally managed, centrally structured, AI on the top, coming from everywhere, embedded, BYO AI, then we have data on the bottom, centrally managed, centrally structured, and data on the top coming from everywhere. So we think what you really need to be thinking of conceptually is building an AI tech sandwich, one that can accommodate the AI and the data that you manage and own, and one that can accommodate the top of that sandwich, which is the AI and the data coming from everywhere, which you might not own and you might not centrally manage. 
So if you have the bottom and you have the top, AI on the bottom, AI on the top, data on the bottom, data on the top, what's in the middle? Well, one of the big technology outcomes and maybe the second big message that I want to send is you have to be able to create AI outcomes that are scalable and secure. And this safe, scalable AI outcome piece is really, really important. How do we get to something that we can scale that is safe um, is not a trivial question. And here we think the secret sauce in the middle of this sandwich is something that Gartner calls TRISM. TRISM is an acronym that stands for Trust, Risk, and Security Management. So this isn't really just a security management play because you need to be able to say yes to all this AI and data coming from everywhere, not no. And for you to be able to say yes, you need technologies that will monitor technologies. Ultimately, this middle layer isn't just people and committees and governance mechanisms. That exists too. There will be governance mechanisms. There will be people making big judgment calls and making big decisions in committees, specifically a central committee to manage demand, a center of excellence to share best practice, uh, and some kind of AI ethics or responsible AI committee to set the parameters of what you will and will not do. So of course the humans are involved in this layer of trust, risk, and security management, but that won't be enough. For you to be able to deliver AI outcomes at scale that are safe and that are at speed, that can happen at the speed of business, you will need AI monitoring AI. And it turns out there's lots of technologies that are already in the marketplace. This is a really dynamic marketplace, the TRISM marketplace. Lots of vendors providing technologies as guardrails and output filters and input filters and grounding technologies to avoid model drift, et cetera, et cetera. There's a bunch of really great innovation and dynamism happening in this space, basically recognizing that to get these AI outcomes at speed that are safe, you will need technology, not just humans. And so this middle layer of TRISM is a mix of governance that is run by humans and technologies that enforce and mechanize the policies and the decisions that are made in those human-led committees. So what we think you're gonna need ultimately is an AI tech sandwich where you can manage the AI inside your enterprise coming from you, the data inside your enterprise structured, and then the AI coming from everywhere, coming from BYOAI, coming from embedded in the software of vendors you already have dealings with, and data coming from everywhere with this magical layer of TRISM in the middle. So go forth, build your own tech sandwich. If you're interested in more research, there's some right, right in the notes of this video. Thank you very much for listening to part two and come back for part three of AI outcomes that matter. Thanks very much. Thank you.